Hello and welcome to another episode of Coffee Fusion. This week we're going to look at tips for texturing silky milk. Hey guys, so a few years ago now I released a video on texturing milk and I thought it was time to update it a little bit, uh, do a nice cleaner version and give you all the tips you need to get that silky microfoam in your milk. So let's get stuck straight in. So the first thing you need is to start off with cold milk. Full cream is going to be easiest to use but you can use any milk you like. And when you're pouring that milk in, just pour it to the bottom of the base of that spout on your jug. Now you need to use the right jug for the coffees you're going to make. So for example, this is just a 400ml jug, it's good for one uh, regular size coffee cup. If you need to make two coffees, then you need to use a bigger jug. Don't try and overfill or underfill the jug um, that you're using to make your coffee. Now the next thing you need to do is think about the coffee that you're going to make before you start texturing your milk. So whether it's going to be a flat white or a latte, which needs sort of a little bit of microfoam, or whether you want to make a cappuccino, which needs a bit more frothier milk. And this is so that you have a plan of attack of how you're going to texture it before you get started. Now that you've decided which coffee you're going to make, you need to think about how much air that will be that you're adding into your jug. So you can see on the jug here, I've drawn a little diagram of how much air you need to add for your different coffees, whether it's a flat white slash latte, you need to add about a centimetre and a couple of centimetres if it's a cappuccino. So when you have finished heating your milk, this should be the level that your coffee is at. If you are write this on with a whiteboard marker, you can use this as a little tip for you. Okay, so now it's time to get that steam working for you guys. So um, what I like to do is put the uh, spout just a little bit off center. If you put it right in the middle, think about where that steam's gonna end up going. It's gonna end up pushing down and then up through the milk and it's not gonna create that nice whirlpool that you want. But if you put it slightly on an angle to the side, you can see how that steam is gonna push around and create a nice even whirlpool for you to get your milk silky and shiny. Okay, next up is to dunk the uh, steam tip just below the surface so it doesn't splash up on you when you get started. And then turn the steam on full so that you get all the pressure from the machine working into your milk. To add air to your milk, you just drop the jug slowly and gently so that the tip of the steam wand is on the surface of the milk and you'll hear the sucking sound letting you know that you're adding air to your milk. Keep that steam tip on the surface until you've added the desired amount of air. Remembering that if you're making a cappuccino, you'll have to slowly lower the jug so that the steam tip stays on the surface. And then once you've added all the air, just move the jug up ever so slightly so that steam tip is just below the surface again, keeping it in the same area so that that whirlpool keeps going the whole time. Just as a side note here guys, you want to add all of the air before the milk starts to get warm. That way that whirlpool will have time to combine all of that air into your milk and you'll get that silky microfoam. Okay, now you just need to watch that whirlpool carefully, make sure you don't add any more air at all, and keep tapping the side of the jug with your other hand. And as it gets just too hot to touch, it's time to turn the steam wand off. Remember, while you're starting, it's fine to use a milk thermometer. The temperature we're aiming is 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. First thing you do when you finish texturing your milk, just put that jug down, wipe the steam wand, and give it a purge to clean it out. If you have any bubbles in your milk, you can give it a slight tap on the counter to knock those out and give it a swirl before you're ready to pour. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this helped you out, just give that like button a little tap. That really helps me. And if this is your first video, Coffee Fusion is all about educating you on coffee and making better coffee, whether that's in the cafe or at home. And guys, if you live within Australia, remember you can grab some specialty coffee from the roastery. Um, I'm an online roaster as well. So you can head to the website and grab some coffee and you can drink our Coffee Fusion coffee for your next cup. If you have any further questions about texturing milk or perhaps something else coffee related, leave the questions in the comments below and I'll sort you out with answers or another video. Thanks guys, I'll see you next week. Bye!